Hello and welcome back. So today we are going to continue with the exploration of the MT4 MetaTrader 4 trading platform. So in the last video we just downloaded it and that was about it. So today we will be going over some of the features. Now you have the MT4 platform here. So the it doesn't matter the broker you use, the features are the same. But the first place I want you to start with, after what I want to show you quickly, this is the file menu. Here, these are all that you get here. Click on it and explore. You see new chart offline, open offline. If you want to open a chart offline, even when you're not connected, you can open it. But then there's nothing there now. Open deleted. Any chart that has been deleted, this is a brand new chart. So nothing has been deleted. Profile. You can see all that's here. So you can, if you click on uh, British pound, euro, anyone you click on now, it will show you, it will show up in the profile. So, but then just play around this. I don't want to touch anything. I just want to show you this is the market overview, Swiss franc. Okay. And then, um, so these are the three primary currencies that are active right now. One, two, three. Okay. Then you can see close you can if i click on this now it will close the platform or you can use the shortcuts control f4 then you have save as you have save as picture you can save a chart as a, a chart as picture open data folder this place we are going to be working with them but i want to quickly point them to you in this uh, subsequent video we're going to work with each of them we'll open them i'll show you what to do even how to install uh, te uh technical indicators like custom indicators I will show you all that on this channel okay so open an account that's for demo we did that yesterday uh, in the other video so log in to trading account this is you want you have already opened that the account you want to log in and then this is login to web trader you want to trade from your browser okay you want to log in to mq5 mql5 community okay we are going to be logging to all this in print setup uh print preview then print exit of us is there so um we are going to be exploring them view menu you can see language is there tools bar and then you have a status bar charts bar of course status bar is this place we are going to be looking at them. this is status status bar this is status bar it shows you the status of the connection okay all right now you have the market watch symbols okay um market watch symbols so this is market watch and then this is symbols market watch you can see the time market watch more like market clock you see that then symbols this is you have the symbols the currency pairs you can adjust this to move to uh, see more clearly all right then this is bid and ask where you have the prices okay so we have data window navigator now data window when you click on it data window i say i won't click so don't worry, we'll come to anyone that's open, I'll show you, but when we get to them, okay, but normally when you click on data window, it will just, or control D, it will open here, anyway, you point, it will be showing the data, but we'll get to that, navigator, this is the navigator, you can see the name there, that's where you can navigate from this, this. you can see that the demo account I opened here, and then, you can close that, so you can open them, there's no demo, uh, there's no live account on this, now this is a demo, okay, alright, so, um, indicators, close it, Expert advisors, close it. Scripts, close it. All these will be learning them. All right. Next, again, you see terminal. Of course, this is our terminal. This is the terminal section where you have the where you have your account, uh, trade, exposure, account history, news, alerts, mailbox, market, where you have market for codes, tools, and all of that. Technical indicators and all of that. Then we'll be, we'll be exploring them one by one, all of them. Do you understand? This is going to be a very long series, but of course, this not, that doesn't mean that I won't be bringing other. I'll be bringing other things, but I'm going to explore them, and you see them, okay? So, strategy tester, we will work with this also. Charts, full screen, all right. Then you go on to insert menu. This is a, you get indicators, line studies. You have channels. You have GAN. You have Fibonacci. You have um, that Fibonacci. Then you have um, shapes, arrows, Andrews pitch fork cycle lines text labels then you have charts indicators list objects bar chart candlesticks 
line chart, flow chart, time frames, templates, refresh, grid, volumes, auto scroll, chart, shift, zoom in, zoom out, step by step. You know, this is zoom in and zoom in and zoom out. Here they are. Here, if you want to zoom in, you want to increase the size of the chart, like this is candlestick. If you want to increase the chart, which one is active? Here? Let me make this one active. Uh, if you just click here to zoom in, it will zoom out. It's going from it up to okay, go all the way down. So, all right, so that's about that. Okay, so and then we have step by step um, properties F8. Okay, so uh, then we have tools new order, history center, global variables, meta code language editor, and then options. Then you have windows new window, tile windows, cascade, tile horizontally, tile vertically, arrange icons, and so on. And then help menu now this is where i want you to now start tonight or right this moment whatever, whatever time you are checking this video okay start from this help menu now there's a story around this help menu many years ago back in 2007 actually when i just uh, started trading uh, you know after losing my uh, initial account and i went back to demo trading and practicing combing the internet searching all sorts of things and then I came to this help menu. By then, all of these things have not been included on the MetaTrader 4. All these things are developments that have just happened in the last two, three, four, five years. Back then, 10 years ago, all these ones, you wouldn't see them together. So now, but then I came to this help topics. That's where I was learning a whole lot of things. Strategies, I was learning. Uh, client terminal, you see new uh, trading features, getting started, all of that. I learned a whole lot from here. I learned a whole lot from here. Auto trading. You, I learned a whole lot from there. How to create, how to create um, expert advisors. You find them there. How to create them. Um, um, what do you call it now? Custom indicators. You get them here. And friends, some have created uh, uh, custom indicators from here, following the guide here, and they've made a lot of money out of it. But just saying. But then the story that happened over uh, back in 2007 was that when I was explaining the details of all these places, that this is the manual for this trading platform, anything about this platform is contained in this help menu. So a woman told a story about how a, 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 a young man, there was a program they were doing, they, they were running then, and they all enrolled in it. And the, the guy that was more like a, a, the trainer or coach or mentor for them uh, what he did that he he sent them he, he printed out the the manual for that program and was selling to them at two thousand naira and they bought and then one day that uh, she and her husband they were checking her mail and she found that same manual that uh, the fellow had sold to them at two thousand which she bought she saw it on her email and the email came in the day she registered for the program. And she was like, she told the other world, this guy is a thief. Why would he sell this to us when it's actually part of what we paid for? And the other said, oh, the guy is not a thief. If he didn't sell it to you, how would you have known that he came with you? So that's why when you buy anything, the user manual is very important. That's where you find how to use the, 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 the stuff, the device. You find the do uh, the do's and don'ts and don'ts of the device. So everything you want to learn about MetaTrader 4 platform before you even continue watching any of the videos I'm putting up about the MetaTrader platform, this is where you come to find them on the user guide of the client terminal. Please pay attention to this. And let me also tell you that you can uh, those who do not read, you know what they say that if you want to hide anything in black and uh, anything from the black man, put it in black and in black and white. Please don't be that fellow. Now there are many people that will still, I mean, put this thing together and sell it. Meanwhile, it's there for you free. It came with this platform, trading platform. So go ahead and explore the help menu. All right. So you have the. Uh, this is the create new chart. This is profile. The other we have seen inside these places. They are all the things that are here. Okay. Like I said, this video I'm not going to be clicking and touching anything. So this is really just to show you all of this, but then let me just still show them, uh, show them to you again. So this one is the data window. While this is the market watch, and uh, while this is the that's the market watch window here. Now if you click on this now, I don't want to click. Don't worry. Next video I'll be doing all the clicking. Okay. So this is the terminal, 
and this is the strategy tester this is the new order this is the meta code language editor this is the register a virtual server if you want to this is where you register an account as a source of trade signals you know a whole lot of things have come, you know been activated here this auto trading this is for bar charts candlesticks line charts then zoom in zoom out this is for arranged windows as non overlapping tiles then you have um, scroll charts to the end on ticking on ticking coming this is a uh, shift end the, of the chart from right border and then this is where you pick indicators list this is the periods and while this is the templates okay now this is mn for monthly time frame w1 for weekly time frame d1 for daily time frame h4 for four hours time frame h1 for one hour time frame 30 m30 for 30 minutes time frame m15 for 15 minutes time frame and m5 for five minutes time frame and then m1 for one minute time frame while this is for arrows this is for uh, draw text le text label this is for draw text this is for fibonacci this is for uh, um, um, equidistant channel drawing draw equidistant channel this is uh, trend line drawing this is horizontal line this is vertical line while this is the um, cross hair and then this is the cursor so <clears throat> here you have the market watch window again navigator terminal exposure account history news okay let's go look at that i double clicked to bring uh, in for that thing to close if you double click it will close okay just like yeah, i don't click again it opens so um this is account in the uh, history this is news all right this is alerts this is mailbox this is markets this one will take a little time because if you populate for it to open markets okay while it does happen you have to wait a little while okay so you can see all the top experts inside here so you can create yours and also put here some could be for free and some could be for sale all right here you have signals you have articles you have good bees you have experts and then this is the journal get your trading journal get your trading journal please get your trading journal i'll be discussing it subsequently at a point in time we'll discuss it because you need to keep your trading journal all right so um that's about the platform okay um of course this are this is the instrument that we have here euro usd that's the one that's active now if you click on here usd chf becomes active and, you, and if i click here to show you it will move you get it so here gbp has become active if you click here it will um, be also growing change okay while well, this is for usd but there's no nothing there nothing there if you put any maybe software uh, which we'll do in the next video you'll see that it will, this will become the panel for those to display so we'll be check, checking all this in the next video so please take time and just play around and you know all this i've shown you in the next video we'll be opening them and we will we'll be considering the file menu and then check out some of them for as much as we can cover within 10 minutes so go ahead and play around with the trading platform and then the application will be dealing with them in the next uh, video as uh, the Lord helps us. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Please, I wanted to share this video if it has helped you there. And for others who want to also learn about the trading platform method for that, please share it and let them also know and help my channel. I, you know, I just began to, uh, you know, pay attention to uh, my YouTube channel and I want to give as much as i can to help the community and please also help the channel to grow god bless you and see you in my next video